Our project intends to solve the problems faced in the existing central locking system in cars. We basically divide the region around the car into two ranges. Range 1 which is nearer to the car with a small radius and range 2 which is slightly away from the car. If the key is within the first range that is very near to the car then the car automatically gets unlocked. Hence, by just having the key in our pocket and as we walk near to the car, the car automatically unlocks without manual pressing of the unlock switch in the key. This even avoids the car getting locked with key inside the car. When the key goes out of range 1 and is in range 2, the doors of the car being closed or not is checked. If doors are open, we get a mild alarm. In our case, the green LED in the key glows on, else it is off. When the key goes out of range 2, both the car being locked or not and doors being open or not is checked. If either of these things are not satisfied, we get a final alarm in the key which is the red LED glowing on. Else the red LED is off. As soon as the key goes out of range 2, the system gets reset to range 1 and the system in the car will be waiting for the key to enter range 1. And hence, as the key enters range 1, the car automatically unlocks itself. We even have an indication in the key stating the condition of the car, whether it is locked or not. If the red LED in the launch pad goes on, then the car is unlocked, else it is locked. Now, this is the system in the car, which shows that the yellow LED here indicates that the car is presently unlocked. This is the system in the key and the key is presently near the car that is it is within range 1. As the key is within range 1, uh, the car will not get locked as indicated by the yellow LED before. Now what we do is we have the initial condition wherein we demonstrate our project having uh, the doors open and the car being not locked. This is the, uh, We have two switches, one to control whether the doors to be closed or not and the other to control whether the car to be locked or not. Now, we move away from the car, that is, we try to move the key out of range 1. Now, we are getting a signal of lower amplitude. As soon as we move out of range 1, we have a signal that has been switched to a higher amplitude. At this point, you, have, you can see the green LED which is glowing, indicating that the doors of the car are not closed. This is a mild alarm which will be glowing until you close the door. Now, since the system is out of range 1, the signal has been switched to higher amplitude and and now uh, coming to the car, system in the car, you can see that the yellow LED is off. That means now the system can be locked externally using the switch in the key. Now what we do is we move the uh, key still farther, that is try to move it out of range 2. Now the uh, signal generated from the key to the car is of a higher amplitude. As we keep moving the key out of the range 2, what we get is the since the door of the cars are not closed and the car is not locked, we get a high uh, the final alarm which indicates uh, which is indicated by the red LED which glows. As soon as the system moves out of range 2, you ha you have the system reset to range 1 as indicated by the lower amplitude signal in the CRO. Now the red LED glows which indicates that the car, doors of the car are not locked and not closed and the car is not locked. This is the final alarm what the user gets. After seeing this, the final alarm, the user tries to lock the car. Now as soon as he locks the car, the LED goes off.
Also, we have in the key which indicates the status of the car, whether it is not or locked. Now, presently, the red LED glows in the breadboard which indicates the car is not locked. What the user does is, as he pre presses the lock switch, the red LED in the launch pad goes off and also the red LED uh, in the breadboard goes off. Now, the launch pad red LED serves as an indication of whether the car is, now is presently locked or not. Now, the launch pad LED is on, indicating that the car is locked. As, in, as soon as it presses, presses the lo lock key, the launch pad LED goes off. Now, the user is out of range 2 and the system is now reset to that of range 1. Now, the user with the key goes near the car. As he goes near the car, he is now within range 2 right now and further he will be within range 1. Now, within range 1, the car shouldn't allow the user to lock the car and this also enables automatic unlocking. And this will be shown by the yellow LED in the system, in the car, which glows, indicating that the car is presently unlocked. This enables automatic unlocking of the car as a user arrives near the car with the key with him. Now what we show here is the output of the receiver when the key is within range 1 or range 2 wherein the corresponding signals have been transmitted. The output of the receiver is sh as shown and the receiver is given to a bandpass filter whose output is as shown. This output is a uh, same as that generated at the key which is a frequency 6.6 .6 kilohertz. The output of the bandpass filter will be given to an envelope detector to generate a DC signal of amplitude around 4 volts which will be given as an enable signal to the microcontroller. This is the output what we get obtained when the receiver is out of range which is noise and the output of bandpass filter and the analog detector are correspondingly zero.